what is going on YouTube so come back today with another like kind of hypothetical video um, today I wanted to talk about uh, what would be like the best starting five you could possibly put together in basketball now you can look at this from multiple angles uh, what system would you run you know who would fare best with what player and you know, do you want to play small ball, roll with the kind of current trend right now in basketball, especially with like how the Warriors play? Um, or do you want to roll with, uh, you know, traditional size and athleticism, or tradi I, I wouldn't say athleticism, but like typical size and strength and just kind of outwork the other team. But I have two starting fives that both feature different players uh, that are kind of different styles, but both I think would just be the two most dominant lineups in the NBA. So the first one, and uh, this is probably the typical lineup I would pick if I could pick any starting five. Not to say these are the top five best players in the NBA, but this is the best lineup I would pick. So starting at the one, we got Steph Curry. Um, choosing between Russ and Steph is hard. There's no doubt about that. Um, but when you're talking about meshing with other players, I think Steph's just a better overall um, player to be able to facilitate two other players while also maximizing his own value at the same time. Uh, at this, at the two, I got James Harden. I'm, I, I think James Harden's maybe one of the most unstoppable players on offense on any team in the NBA. Small forward, LeBron. That's a pretty obvious one. At the power forward spot, I'm going to put Anthony Davis. I, he's been, he's had injury troubles and um you know just overall team problems the last two years but i just don't i i don't think that the situation with the pelicans is bad enough for to, to, to penalize him and say that he's not a top five player in the nba talent wise and then at the center spot i got the best center in the nba with demarcus cousins i've mentioned before i'm very high on demarcus cousins i think that um he I think he gets the respect that he deserves from what he's done so far in the NBA, but I think he'd just completely break out if he played on another team beside the Kings. All right, so my second lineup. At the one, I'd have Chris Paul. Um, again, not the stereotypical power or point guard you could pick. In my opinion, I, I'd still put him as the third best point guard in the NBA, but he's still, again, when you're talking about a guy that – um, can play with other players, maximizing their own value while maximizing his own to some degree. Uh, you got to put Chris Paul on there. And at the two, I'd have Russ. And I mean, at the three, it seems a little weird to have this now, but at three, I put KD. Um, I mean, yeah, they're not going to play together now, but um, when you're just talking about talent wise and pure ability to uh, be the best in the NBA, you, uh, KD's got to be there. At the four, I'd actually put Paul George. Um, this isn't just because I'm a Pacers fan. This is because Paul George, in my mind, and I feel like in a lot of minds of other people, is one of the most versatile players in the NBA. I think he's one of those players um, in the realm of LeBron or KD that could really play any position one to four or one to five on both ends of the floor. Uh, Paul George is one of the best wing defenders in the NBA. He's one of the best two-way players in the NBA, and he can play at the four, especially use, utilizing his size. This would be more of a small ball lineup. Um, that would be able to score in bunches. Um, and it's a very, I'd say a very athletic lineup while I think there's a lot of different faces. Now at the five, before I move, talk about the rest of this lineup, before, at the five, I, got, I would have Andre Drummond. Um, I'd have one player down low that while he could run with the entire lineup, because I think Drummond's young, young enough and athletic enough to be able to run with a lineup that's like this fast and this good, this athletic, um, you know he, he he's he's a guy that just you you gotta include. I feel like uh, I don't think he's reached his top end potential yet. I think it's still gonna take a few years. Obviously, free throws are an issue, but it's the same thing with DeAndre Jordan. So, um, which lineup would I choose? Like I said, I'd probably go with the first one. The second one's an interesting combination. I think it would be um, just a great great way. Uh, to be able to utilize two or ten of the best players in the NBA in two very different manners. Again, this is just my hypothetical here. Um, you know, it's it, it, it's almost impossible to say what the best lineup in the NBA would be because you just have to mix and match players for days. Um, 
and there's no telling how players would um, mix at that. I mean, when they got that level of skill and ego, uh, there, like I said, there's no telling what would happen. Like I said, it's just a hypothetical. Anyway, that's pretty much it. See ya.